morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much to all of my new subscribers i really appreciate it <gasps> are you okay hon so today we're going to be doing a little house tour for you and um, we are a family of three so it's myself my husband and our nine week old baby joel who is currently getting aggy i'll be back in a second so we live in a three bedroom house on the south coast in a place called Paul. Um, we're very lucky to be about five minutes from the beaches. So we bought this house back in December 2018 and we were second time buyers and it's a three bedroom semi detached. So you don't get as much for your money down here as what you would get up north, um, but we like it. It's, it's fine for us at the moment. So we're going to take you along and show you inside. So if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'd be really, really grateful. I'll be aiming to upload twice a week with lots of new mum content and also some lifestyle vlogs. So let's get into the house tour. So as you come in, um, we've got a really nice wide hallway. Um, this was actually, like I said in my intro, this was a new build. Um, so they have to be, the hallways and the downstairs toilets have to be quite wide for wheelchair access. Um, so we're quite lucky with that. It's really good when we've got the pram in and stuff. So up here, we've just um, added this shelf on. So it's really handy to store our keys. And I've just got a couple of candles on there as well. Um, and down here, I do get a lot of comments about this on my home account. This was from eBay um, and this is really handy. It's got all of our shoes in. So it's really handy for storing the shoes and it looks nice as well and you can sit on it while you're putting your shoes on. Over here, we've just got the tiniest cupboard in the world. I won't even bother opening that because we've got ironing board, drying racks, all sorts of crap shoved in there and all of my handbags. So um, they'll probably all fall out as soon as I open it. And then over here, I've got my radiator cover. This was a lockdown edition. We used to have a console table here, um, but it just stuck out too much. And I just think this um, opens up the space a little bit more. So I really, really like that. So we just go straight into the lounge. And Jolly Polly's playing mat down there. And we had all the wires chased into the wall for our TV because I'm one of those people that I like my TV on the wall, but I literally hate messy wires coming down. So um, yeah, luckily the builders did that for us before we moved in. I just got my Olivia Blake um, Jasmine and Pear candle burning there. That was from Home Sense. I love the three wick candles. They seem to be a bit stronger and it just makes the room smell absolutely amazing. And then down here we have a throw basket. This was from Darnell. I absolutely love this. So I keep all of my spare throws in here. And this cozy white pom-pom throw was from eBay. And I bought this gorgeous teddy bear rug in Dunelm a few weeks ago. This was £50 and it's so soft underfoot. I was looking for a rug for ages um, that would suit this room and I just didn't like any of them. They were just the wrong shade, but this is perfect. Jolly's playmat is down there. This was from the White Company. And then he's also got his black and white sensory book that we just leave open on there for him because it's really good for his vision um, and his development. And then over here we have his... Um, photo, newborn photo shoot prints on the wall. And then I won't show you behind the door because there's a couple of parcels that I need to do an unboxing for, for a collaboration. Um, but his toy basket is behind there. Um, and then we've got like a magazine rack behind there as well. And then I've just got my Scentsy burner on the windowsill. So I'd put all of my Scentsy wax melts in there and it just makes the room smell amazing. I don't actually burn it that much. It's usually just if I've got someone coming round. Um, and then over here, We've got Joel's nappy caddy. Um, so this is really handy so I don't have to run upstairs during the day when I'm changing him. And then the little man himself in his swing, he's just had a feed and he is fast asleep. Um, this swing is absolutely brilliant. Okay, and then going through into the dining room. So it's open plan, but you've got the archway which kind of separates it. So that's quite nice. Um, ignore that, that's Steve's spirit level. I've been asking him to put it in the shed for weeks, but he hasn't done it yet. Um, so our dining chairs, I do get a lot of questions about where these are from. I can't remember off the top of my head, but if you want the link, I can send them to you. Um, when we first moved in, we just bought some like cheap grey dining chairs, but after a year of saving, I was able to buy like my dream dining chairs. The legs actually came um, in a wood colour, so I painted them white, obviously, to go with the room. Um, and I just love the studs and the knocker detail on the back. We only got four of them because they were quite expensive. And we also thought, because they're quite big chairs, it would be a struggle to get six around this table. Um, and we also used to have a sideboard there, but I prefer the space to get around the table now. So we got rid of that during lockdown. I think when you're at home for a long time, you just kind of want to change everything. So I did actually change quite a lot. And then I've just got my lanterns down there. I do like to have candles on most days because it just makes the house smell amazing. So if I'm just chilling at home all day, 
I will put all of my candles on. So I haven't just put them on for this video, I promise. And then up here we have this clock. This was from the range and it was 39.99. I've had this for just over a year now, but they do still sell them in there. Um, so go and check it out if you do like it. I just think it's a really nice feature in the room and finishes it off nicely. And then in here is our downstairs toilet. Not very exciting, um, but I do like the decor in here. So this wallpaper, obviously when we moved in, because it was a new build, the walls were all just white and it needed a little bit of character in here. So this wallpaper was kindly gifted to us from ilovewallpaper.co.uk and then we just paid a lady to come and do it because obviously where it's patterned, it's quite a specialist, so I didn't want to risk doing it ourselves. Um, and then just got my faux orchid up there. And then I like to have hand lotion as well as the hand soap in here, um, just because obviously this is the toilet that all our guests use when, they're, when they come round. Um, so I just think it's a little bit nicer. This was from Aldi, but it looks like the J Malone one and not very exciting just our toilet around there this is obviously just under the stairs so the ceiling does slope down in here and then we have a picture of the golden gate bridge we did a california road trip um in february 2019 and san francisco was one of the places that we visited um so i just like to have that picture in here because it reminds me of that trip uh, going into our kitchen so our kitchen is really really tiny um we are hopefully going to extend at some point um but this was the compromise with the house um at the time we'd sold our flat and the buyer was getting impatient and the house that we did originally go for had fallen through so we had to find somewhere quite quickly and I just didn't like anywhere and um, this was the only house that I fell in love with but the kitchen does let it down so I'll tell you about our plans in a minute but yeah, this is our kitchen. I wish that I'd gone for the integrated fridge freezer, um, but we ended up bringing this with us when we moved because it was quite new. Um, but now I really wish that I'd asked the builders to put an integrated fridge freezer in because I just think it looks a lot nicer. But yeah, hopefully when we extend, we can get a new one. Um, so tea, coffee area over here. I've just got my lovely vanilla candle burning at the moment. That was from Home Sense, And I can't even tell you how nice it makes the room smell. Um, oh, our blinds as well. These are the white wooden blinds. We have these in every single room. I think it cost about £320 to do the whole house. And it's a three bed, so that's a really good price. Um, and they were from Cheapest Blind UK. We absolutely love them. They're kind of like shutters. I love shutters, but obviously can't afford them. So these are the next best thing. Um, and then excuse the plate. I need to wash up after lunch. Um, but we have Steve's Tassimo coffee machine over here, Joel's formula and prep machine, and then obviously the toaster. And yeah, I need to put those waters away. I went food shopping yesterday um, and there wasn't enough room in the fridge, so I need to put those away in a second. But yeah, that's our little, that's our little kitchen. And then just going out into the back garden. So this is our back garden. Um, we have been really, really lucky with the space here because obviously where it was a new build, um, a lot of new builds that I saw that were on big new build estates had really small gardens because they like to cram them all in. Um, but where ours was just like a one-off new build, um, um, we've got quite a big, well, a really big garden. So we've got the space to extend, which is what we want to do. So I'll talk you through those plans in a minute. Patio area, we've just got a storage box there. We've got this corner um, sofa dining set. So it's actually got another two stools with it as well, but they are just currently down on our decking area because we had some people over the other week. It's got gray cushions that go on it, but they're all away in storage at the moment because it's obviously unpredictable weather now. So they are all just in that box there. Um, and then we put these, we finished off these flower beds a few months before Joel was born. Uh, these are actually all artificial plants. I just wanted something that was really low maintenance because the ones at the back are real, but I just couldn't be bothered to keep tending to all of them because I'm not really a very good gardener. So we got all of these off eBay. Sushi just finishing it off nicely. Um, but yeah, they work really well and they look really realistic as well. And then we just put some solar lights in the beds and also in the beds along the back. So at nighttime, the garden looks really pretty because it all lights up. And then over the back, I'm not gonna walk down there because I've got no shoes on, but basically when we, when we first moved in, we didn't have this fence here, we just had the hedge and it looked really messy. So we put the fence in and then added the decking area as well. Um, and then we've got the gate there that we put in. So behind 
in between the hedge and the fence there's like a storage area so we've got some storage containers with like garden tools in and stuff so it's really handy just to like close it off from the rest of the garden a uh, little shed down there that we put in we've got our fire pit and then we've got another corner um, sofa set with a coffee table that has white cushions that go on it but again we've put them away for the winter and then along the back we planted three olive trees they've really grown um, much taller this summer we planted them last summer and they're doing really really well because it is quite a sunny garden so they are in the sun most of the day and then the ones along the front are just a couple of like palms and grasses and then not sure why the barbecue's there that's meant to be on the patio but i think steve moved it when we had people around the other week so like i said we are really lucky with the space obviously when joel gets a bit older we'll probably have like a climbing frame or a swing or something there for him um and then <laughs> extension plans so we can remortgage in about three and a half years time so hopefully we can then borrow some more money to do an extension um if we don't do that we will probably have to move because if we have baby number two we don't have like masses of space in the house here for all the toys and stuff so what we want to do is build like an orangery type conservatory here so like the whole area of the patio basically and move the patio back onto the lawn um, so that will come directly off the dining room so we would take these doors off and just have the archway like the open archway going into the extension so the orangery extension would then become the dining room so this set would go out there and it would also double up as like a kids playroom so we'd have um, one end dining and the other end with all the kids toys just so we've got somewhere to put them and it's also good for like drying washing out there and stuff like that um, because when we've got two children both the spare rooms will be in use so we won't be able to dry our washing in there anymore and then obviously the kitchen is just through there so we want to knock this wall down so that we have a big open plan kitchen and I can have my dream of having a kitchen with an island in the middle so that's our plan anyway because like I said the kitchen was a compromise and it's so small and it works for us at the moment but when we've got two older kids it's just not going to work for us anymore so yeah as you can see the um, kitchen starts a bit further back from the dining room so the other thing we would do is knock this bit of wall down as well and start a wall from here and just build it across because the hallway is big enough for us to do that so it means the toilet would have to come off the new kitchen but that's not a massive issue i know a lot of people who do that um and then we just have like basically all of this would be a big open kitchen with an island and then the final plan would be at the same time as having that done we would close off this archway so the lounge is separate so that would just be like a little sort of snug room on its own and then you would enter the kitchen from the end of the hallway there they are our extension plans and hopefully in the not too distant future that will become a reality for us just quickly before we go up i absolutely love these spotlights i got these on amazon they were 16 pound for six of them and they're battery powered so they've actually got a remote control i don't know where it is here it is so they just all switch on you can put them on a timer so you've got one hour two hours or less than that if you wanted and then they'll just automatically switch off or you can turn them off before then if you want to we've also got these under our kickboards in the kitchen as well so in the evening it looks amazing all lit up i think they just add like a nice addition to the staircase and you don't need an electrician for them yeah we're just gonna head on upstairs now Um, which I really like because it just makes the landing a lot more light and airy and then I've got this massive mirror it is only leaning against the wall it's far too heavy to actually fix to the wall but I wanted it leaning anyway because that's kind of like the look I wanted to go for um, I actually got this off Facebook marketplace and it was 50 pounds and that's an absolute bargain because in I think I've seen this in a range and it was nearer to like 200 pounds so yeah absolutely love that that's one of my bargain purchases and then at the top of the stairs we have the bathroom i love our bathroom it's actually a really good size um and i like the what the builders chose for this room so i'm, I'm in love with the tiles 
Um, I love our floating sink as well. So we've got that one there. Um, and we've also got this mirror, which lights up. So this is the best mirror for plucking your eyebrows in like ever. You can see every single hair. And then over here, we've got our Mr. and Mrs. towels. We don't really use these because I'm a bit sad. I like to keep them for show. Um, but these were from John Lewis and they were a wedding present from one of Steve's friends. Always just kind of had those there on display. I just keep Joel's little bath seat under there. And um, we use the Angel Care bath seat and it's fantastic. Scales. Um, so I don't have like a lot of stuff everywhere. Um, but trust me, it's all shoved in cupboards. So we do have a lot of stuff really. And then I've got my bath tidy. This is really handy if you want to have like a glass of wine in the bath or like some candles. Um, this was £10 in Dun Elm. I think they sold out last year because Mrs Hinch bought it and then everyone was going and buying them. Um, but I have seen them back in there recently. So go and check that out if you wanted to get one. And then we've just got the shower over the bath. Um, and I've got all of our like shampoo, conditioner and body wash in these. So I have a cry cut machine, so I actually make these myself. Um, I was selling stuff. I've kind of stopped it at the moment because of maternity leave, but I probably will be doing my personalised Christmas baubles this year. So watch this space. And then just next to the bath, we've got this chest of drawers. So I've got two drawers, obviously. <laughs> Steve's got a drawer and Joel's got a drawer as well with his um, bath stuff in. And then just my orchid on here, which is actually starting to deflower for the winter, which is quite sad, but I'm sure it'll be back stronger than ever next year. And then coming back out onto the landing, just got a couple of um, family photos up here. So some from our wedding day, um, one from Steve's sister's wedding, and then one from um, our California road trip. So this was by the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco last year. And then down the end of the landing, this is our smallest bedroom. Um, so this is Jolie Poley's nursery. Um, obviously he's not in here yet, but we use this daily um, for feeding. Obviously we've got the feeding chair over there, getting him dressed, things like that. So this is where I'll come in and do the night feeds. Um, so on the left hand side, we've just got a small chest of drawers. This was from Ikea. This looks like the Ikea Malm drawers, but it's actually the Cullen range. Um, it's a lot cheaper than Malm. So this was, I think this was £35 for this one. And it's just slightly smaller because obviously it's not a big room. So we just wanted something slightly smaller. But I've still put like the Malm dividers in there. So he's got like vests and changing stuff in there more vests that's more like everyday outfits in the top drawer and then this is like under vests so they all go up to like one year old and then in the bottom drawer he's just got some outfits that are slightly bigger so like daytime outfits like loungewear and pajamas and little rompers and things like that up here we have this gorgeous teddy bear this was from my dad and stepmom um they sent this to they live over in france they sent this to us um when joel was about a week old and this is a Merry Thought bear. So they're classic bears. My stepmom had one when she was little. Um, so she wanted to buy Joel one as well. I'm not sure whether I'll let him walk around with this when he's older because it is quite special. So it's the kind of bear that would just um, sit on the shelf so it doesn't get ruined. But it's really, really soft. And then it's personalised with his name and his date of birth. These are just the milestone cards. Obviously, you have to write the dates on the back of each milestone. So I haven't done that for those ones yet. So I need to do that this week and pop them in his memory box so they can go away. They're not normally there. Um, these were gifted to us from a company called Priya and Peanut. And they also do sensory cards as well, which are brilliant for just like laying out on your changing mat or your play mat for newborns to look at. Um, but yeah, I love these. This is the monochrome milestone card set. And we've got all the milestones and they're up to like a year old. Over here, we've got this cute pom-pom basket. So this has all of my muslins in. Um, so it's really handy when I'm feeding, I can just grab one out of there. This little basket was from HomeScent. So if you're looking for anything like this for the nursery, pop along, they have, you never know what you're gonna find. They've got so many cute little bits in there. And on here, we've just got a little heart with a quote on, and then he's got his personalized dressing gown. This was a gift when he was born from one of Steve's friends, and it was from my first years. Um, it's so soft, it's absolutely gorgeous. He doesn't quite fit into this yet, but but I can't wait to pop this on him after bath time when he fits into it. And then up here, we've got his shelves. So bedtime stories, all of his books are in there. These two little elephants, they look like bookends, but they're just kind of little decorative elephants that I got off a gift website. Um, I can't actually remember where now because I got these during lockdown, so it was quite a while ago. 
um but if you like them i can have a look and check where i got them from i actually personalized this myself on my cry cut machine again i just bought a blank box from studio.com and then made the labels myself but you can buy them on ebay as well and then we have his personalized money box um this again was a gift from one of steve's friends when joel was born he's got his giraffe from the white company a little toy monkey from m s this cute little mug from matalan and then this gorgeous ceramic nightlight i get a lot of questions about this on instagram this was from i think it was lights for you or lights for fun or something like that um they have actually sold out now i have found them on some other websites but they are like double the price of what i paid for them but if you're happy to pay 30 pounds then or i think it's like 35 maybe then let me know and i can send you the link to the other one that i found it's exactly the same but yeah this is perfect for the night feeds look how pretty that is and also in the evening when I'm getting him ready on his changing mat after his bath, I just put this on because I like to keep all the lights low in the evening so he knows it's bedtime. And then over here, we've got our Tutti Bambini feeding chair. This is the comfiest chair in the world. It came with a footstool, but obviously there's not a lot of space. So we put that up in the loft. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do with it, but yeah, um, it just won't fit in here. And then I've got my breastfeeding pillow. And up here, this really cute little, you can't really see because of the light, but this really cute little set of ceramic giraffes from Next. This was a present from my mum. And then this gorgeous personalised name sign. This was gifted to us from a company called Ophelia London. Um, they also do like wedding invites, key rings, loads and loads of gorgeous personalised stuff. So definitely check them out. If you want me to send you the link, I can do. Um, but yeah, they very kindly gifted this to us when we first came out of hospital with him. So I use this in a lot of my Instagram photos as well. And then it just sits there on the windowsill for the rest of the time. And then we have his cot. So obviously where it's not a big room, I didn't want to get a full size cot. So this is literally the smallest cot you can get. I think it's 120 by 60. It also turns into a bed. So the um, sides come off as well. This was from online for baby. Um, so if you want me to send you the link, I can do. I love the fact it's got a drawer underneath for storage. So we store all his nappies and things like that under there. Um, sorry, this has just been in the wash. So it's just got a little bit creased. I need to sort that out. Um, this changing mat was from Mamas and Puppies. We find it really easy to have the cot top changer on there. Um, I bought this separately from the cot. I think this was Facebook Marketplace. And then we've got this luxury changing mattress from Mamas and Puppies. This is still on their website. Um, I got this quite a while ago. So I think the one that's on there now is a slightly different design, but it basically looks the same. And then it's really handy that this bit can come off to be washed because he does wee on it quite a lot. But yeah, I love it. It's really comfy for him. I just love the little pillow. We've got three prints up here. So we've kind of got a little safari theme in this nursery of a lot of elephants and giraffes. And then I got this one in the middle from uh, Joycey Prints on Instagram. And then this is his cloud cot mobile. I wanted something really simple. This was from a website called Ellie's Beautiful Mess. And she does custom cot mobiles. Um, I think this was just one of the ones that was listed on there anyway, but she can do a custom one if you request it. And then I've just got a couple of cushions in there that are really cute. Um, obviously these won't be staying in there when he sleeps in there, but for the moment they look nice for decoration. And then over here, I've got my nappy caddy and his basket full of toys for when he's old enough to play with them. Um, the basket was actually a laundry hamper from Dunelm. Um, I think it was like 10 pounds. And then the nappy caddy was Amazon. That was gifted to us. Um, so it's really handy just to have it like next to the changing mat because I did have everything in the top drawer. Um, but it's, I find it a lot easier to have it next to the changing mat. And then finally, we've got the built in wardrobe in here, which is really handy. Um, so this was just a blank cupboard when we first moved in. So Steve spent a lot of time while I was pregnant, um, putting shelves and like a rail in here and making it into a wardrobe. So I've just got this cute little elephant on there and then i've done a lot of these i get a lot of questions on instagram about where these baskets are from again i bought these in dunelm and i personalized them myself on my cry cut machine we then got given this personalized bunting from one of my mum's friends um when he was born so that's really cute it's got little elephants on it we've got a gray teddy bear up there which is um like a christmas bear that comes out every year from the garden center where my mum works so that's lovely he just sits up there and i like to have this open while i'm changing him because he likes looking at it keeps him occupied he's got far too many clothes i've got these dividers in the wardrobe as well 
So we've got like newborn, he's still got a couple of bits that fit him at nearly nine weeks old, not to three months, and it just goes up from there. So that's really handy for sectioning off. I really recommend getting some of those. They were Amazon and they were about six pounds. So not a lot at all. And I, t I don't know what I do without them, to be honest. The clothes would just be muddled up so badly. And then down here, we've got like blankets and accessories and it just organizes the wardrobe a little bit better. And then just going into our bedroom. So obviously at the moment, we've got Joel in with us. So he's in his next to me crib. And so it doesn't normally look like this. It's normally a little bit tidier, but because he's in there, um, I've just got like a load of stuff down there that would normally be in its place. And it's just, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but we've got him in here till January and then he can go into his own room, which I'll be really sad about, but I will be glad to have my bedside table back as well. <laughs> so our bed is like a gray, it's almost like a chenille material. I absolutely love it. It's like a silver gray color. And this was from a company called Arista Living. Um, they do have discount codes quite a lot where you can get 50% off. So if you follow some of the home accounts on Instagram, I think it was our Hanbury home that I got the discount code off. And I think we ended up paying like 350 pounds for this bed. Um, and it was double that price normally. So it was an absolute bargain. Uh, I looked for so long for a bed like this that wasn't crushed velvet because all of these style beds seem to be crushed velvet and I hate it. <laughs> no offense to anyone that's got a crushed velvet bed, but I just don't like them. I just think, yeah, it just, it's not me. Um, so we ended up finding this one, which I love, and then it lifts up. So it's got all of the storage underneath as well, which is so handy. We wouldn't be without it. And then I just bought this matching ottoman. Um, I can't remember where this was from, but it's got all of my loungewear in. So that's really handy. Again, like in the lounge, we've got all the wires hidden into the wall by an electrician so that our TV looks nice and neat. We only had that done recently, actually. Um, I used to have like a wire tidy down there and it just looked rubbish. <laughs> and then just a mirrored wardrobe there. My maternity wear is in that box and then my wedding dress is in that box. So they just stay up there so I can store them away. And then just a chest of drawers from Ikea. This has all of my clothes in. Steve's clothes are in the drawers next door. Um, so I've just got my jewellery box, straighteners, loads of scrunchies and body sprays and then like all of my products, well a lot of my products there. The rest of them are in baskets just behind this door. Excuse the mess because I've just dried my hair this morning so that's still out. And then this fan needs to go up in the loft because it is no longer summer and I need to return something to Primark. So I've just shoved it all behind the door. It's not normally that messy, I do apologise. Okay, and then the final bedroom is our spare room at the moment, but obviously Joel will move into here when he's a little bit older. Um, so firstly, we've got a chest here. This has all of our spare towels and laundry in. A couple of shelves up there. And then ignore those two IKEA storage containers. They um, have some baby toys in that we got gifted from a friend and he doesn't, they're a bit too old for him at the moment. So we're just gonna put them in the loft. And also another one um, has hit some of his newborn clothes in. Um, so they are going up in the loft this weekend because he's sadly outgrown some of those. Um, just a mirror and an ottoman in the corner. So the ottoman has all of our wrapping paper, birthday cards in, things like that. Um, this was from Home Sense and it was only £11. Kind of matches my dining chairs. I love the studs on it. But yeah, that was my little bargain find in Home Sense about a year ago. This room overlooks the back garden. So it's lovely and sunny in the afternoon slash evening. And then our room gets all the sun in the morning. And then yeah, not much not much to say in here really. All of Steve's clothes are in there at the moment, but obviously when Joel moves into this room, we'll figure it out. Um, and then we've just got a computer there because um, Steve's borrowed that from work because he's doing a lot of work from home at the moment, which is good for me because I can leave the baby with him in his sleepy head on here while Steve's working. If I want to go and have a shower or just quickly eat some lunch, um, but yeah, that that's not normally in here. It's just for the moment while he's working quite a lot from home. Um, yeah. And that is our spare room. We're quite lucky in the fact that this room is the same size as our room. So we've got two really big bedrooms. So if we didn't move from here and we had three children, two of them could share this room and then one of them could be in the box room. And again, um, the wallpaper is just a continuation of the downstairs toilet. Um, so again, we got gifted this from I Love Wallpaper and then just paid someone to do it for us. So that was done about a year ago now. And it just adds a bit more, I wouldn't say colour to the room because my whole house is white and grey, as you can see. Um, but it just makes it a bit more interesting rather than just the white wall that was there before. Mm -hmm.